What's up guys, uh, I'm Noah Beckley. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Salem, Virginia. Um, I've been bass fishing ever since I was a little kid and, and one of my go-to baits is a drop shot. Um, I've been fishing a drop shot um, all up and down the East Coast from New York all the way down to Florida. It's one of the first baits I got a lot of confidence in. Um, started catching a lot of fish with it and there's so many ways to, to throw it. Um, so many different places to throw it. There's ponds and rivers um, around here. It works good in the rivers, it works good in ponds. Um, and let me show you a little bit more what I'm talking about. Um, so my go-to rod that I use to throw a drop shot on um, is a seven foot four uh, medium heavy um, cash and spinning rod. Um, and I usually like to go with 15 pound braid with a uh, 10 pound leader. Um, and then I use a I use a number one EWG hook mostly because I'm usually throwing it on um, the quiver or, or the drop crawl and I usually put a, a six inch leader um, to the weight and I usually use an eighth ounce or a sixteenth ounce weight um, and when you're tying the drop shot you want to tie your knot and then you want to loop uh, the line back through the hole of the hook so it gives that bait um, it makes the bait kind of stand up more in the water and it's easier for the fish to get a to get a hook set in them. One of the reasons I like using the EWG hook is because uh, you can throw it into heavier cover if you have, as, as opposed to if you had an exposed hook. Um, you can throw it into the, to the brushier stuff. You can throw it around docks, uh, way up on the bank. You can fish it really shallow. You can fish it uh, really deep. There's just, there's just many ways and many depths to fish it. And when I'm fishing the drop shot, um, I throw it out there. Um, it's kind of a slower way to fish. You just kind of let it hit the bottom. Um, you can give it some twitches, you can slow, you can kind of slowly bring it back into you. There's many ways to work it, but I like to, I like to give it a few twitches. Uh, just kind of keep your line tight. And when you do get bit on a drop shot, um, usually it's one or two things. It's you feel a couple of ticks on your line or you feel one big tick and your line will just start moving across the water. And that's when you know you have a fish. But another thing about throwing a drop shot is you'll have a lot of bluegill and sunfish the smaller fish start ticking at your line. Um, and after you fish it for a while, you kind of know what, what it feels like when you have a sunfish as opposed to a, a large mouth or something. Uh, the, the, the bluegill will just sit there and tick at it and mess with it. Uh, the, bass will, the bass will grab it. Sometimes they'll play with it a little bit at first, but you know you have a good fish on when, when the bait starts moving across the water. And that's when you know you, you keep your line tight. You don't want any slack to be in your line when you set the hook. Um, reel up to your reel up to your slack and then you just kind of you don't want to yank on the fish like like jack him with his hook set like you would on a shaky head or something you want to kind of lean into him make sure he has that hook in his mouth all right to sum it up uh go get you a spinning rod put a drop shot on you'll be impressed i promise you that and um you'll see why that the drop shot catches fish no matter where you're throwing it no matter what part of the country you're in no matter what kind of body of water you're fishing um it's always going to catch fish. You can fish it in the summertime, in the wintertime, in the springtime. It's always going to catch fish.